everybody, it's Catherine from In The Pink Designs. I am doing another treat box from the Tricks and Treats bundle. This time I'm doing the Frankenstein. Alrighty, I used the dies and the stamp set for Frankenstein. And I also used this largest strange shape die, die from the Nested Essentials dies. Okay, the box measures two and three quarters by two and three quarters square. And it opens just like this. And inside I have two fun size candies, a Snickers and a Reese's peanut butter cup. Alrighty. So what we need today for this is, now you can get at least, well, two. You can get two of these out of each sheet of eight and a half by 11 card stock. Alrighty, so we need a piece of Granny Apple Green that is eight by four and three quarters. We need, this is the biggest die from the Nested Essentials dies that is from Gorgeous Grape Cardstock. We need some basic white for stamping. We need two pieces of the Them Bones Designer Series paper that are two and a half by two and a half, and four pieces that are three quarters by two and a half. Okay, alrighty. Please put my host code in for any purchases on my website under 150, not including tax and shipping, and I can send you a little thank you gift. Okay, we're gonna start on the eight inch side and we're going to score at one, three and three quarters, four and three quarters, and seven and a half. Turn it to the four and three quarter inch side and we're going to score at one and at three and three quarters. All right, and that's it. Okay, now I'm just gonna fold and burnish all of the score lines. Okay. So, we have the skinniest rectangle on the left, and there is one inch on the other three sides. And this is what we're going to be doing. Okay. All right. So, we're going to start on the left-hand side. We're going to go to the first score line, cut it to the first score line, and then wedge up into that skinny rectangle. Go to the next score line, cut it to the first score line, next score line, cut it to the first score line, and wedge both sides of the square. Go to the next score line, wedge it to, cut it to the first score line, and wedge both sides of that square. Okay, now we're going to turn it to the other side. And we're gonna basically do the same thing. So we're gonna to go to the first score line, cut it to the first score line and wedge. The next two score lines, cut it to the first score line and wedge that square that's in the middle. And then go to the next score line, cut it to the first score line and wedge up. Okay, and then the last thing we're gonna do, this is our skinny rectangle. I want you to take the top large rectangle and that is the one that we're going to round the corners of. Okay, now this is what your cardstock should look like after you're done scoring and cutting. Now we're going to get our tear and tape and we're going to put it on what's left of the skinny rectangle. I'm going to use my my take your pick tool to get the backing off. Flip over the whole thing, flip over the side with the tape and flip the other side to meet it. All right now this is our back right here where the seam is. So we're gonna put the sides in, the tabs in, sorry. And then we'll pull the, the back flap in and then put glue on the back of this front flap. Push that forward and then just make sure that your, oops, your sides are nice and square, straight. Okay, now, 
we want to make sure that the inside flaps go down, so just push them down with your bone folder. Good. Okay, now this is our back. How I have this is that the rounded edge is going to go in first, and then this piece is going to come to the front. The flat piece is going to be our front, okay? All right, so let's get our Them Bones Designer Series paper, the two pieces that are two and a half by two and a half on the front and back, and the four pieces that are three quarters by two and a half go on all of the sides. And I'm going to use liquid glue. Okay, now just um, remember that the flap that's going to be on the top is the one that doesn't have the rounded corners, so that's where you want to put that piece of DSP. All right, now we need our purple die cut from the Nested Essential dies, gorgeous grape actually, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to score right down the middle and I have I used a sharpie and I put a straight line here okay and I'm gonna make sure I put the top point and the bottom point right at that straight line and I'm going to score it right in the middle okay burnish that with your bone folder okay now we need our box we're going to put this right on our top flap here. Make sure that you get it even. There's just a tiniest bit that will hang over on each, that is short on each side, okay, of the label. So there's like maybe a 32nd or maybe a 16th of an inch on each side of the box that the label doesn't cover. All right, and I'm going to put glue right here on my label. Okay, then just put it down. Try to get that in there. Make sure that everything's nice and straight. And then just put this down and then bend. Okay, and just make sure you cr crease that back with your fingers. Okay, now we're gonna pull it up and we're going to make sure that no glue came out anywhere. So I just wipe it. This is a baby wipe, but you could use a tissue. Okay, because we don't want any glue to close it permanently. All right. And then we're just going to glue this back piece right down onto the back. And that way we only had to do the one score line because this is going to be about a 32nd of an inch or something more than the actual box top. So it's just easier to do it by hand. Okay. All right. Now we're just going to let that dry a minute while we do stamping. Okay. So we need our little piece of basic white okay and we're using the outline of Frankenstein and then his face and hair All right I'm gonna do the face and hair first with tuxedo black ink and I'm just gonna twist and pat and twist and pat if you do have your stamparagus that was discontinued you can use this to make sure that your face comes out clearly but most of the time, if I pat and twist, it comes out really nice, just like that. Okay, so I did that first because I think it's easier to judge the green, where the green's supposed to go. All right, and then I'm going to put this on. Okay, and then I'm just going to put it at the top of the hair, match that up, and then press it. Pull it off, and there's our Frankenstein. 
Okay, now that's it for stamping. And I'm going to use this die right here to cut it out, and I'll be right back. Okay, and there we go. All right, now we're going to put our closure on. I'm going to use the Velcro. It says on the packaging, thin, clear fashion fasteners. There's 56 of them, so you'll get 23 projects if you use them. All right, so on the back, it says low profile, thin design. All right, so I got these at Amazon. They were less than $4, I believe. All right, they also have them at Walmart, I think. All right, so I'm just going to open them up. You need a front and a back set. One is soft and one is coarse. All right. Okay, so I'm going to put one of them right at the bottom of our flap here and press that on. Then we need the other side. And I always have to remind myself adhesive up because I've done it wrong <laughs> okay and then just make sure that your box is nice and straight and run it down and gently open it okay and then just reinforce the other spot too okay and now is when we would put our fun size candies in. This was a, a 12 pack. I'm surprised they're a little smaller than they used to be, but I believe the big one will still fit in here. And then I'll put a Snickers in. Okay. And then close it. I think this is the perfect for giveaways because you can get two from every sheet of DSP, which is what I like. Okay. Now we're just going to take, before we do this, we're going to take our black and white gingham ribbon and I'm going to place it underneath that top piece of the box and then I'm going to tie a bow up here. All right, and then I'm just going to trim the ends. And then I'm going to take a little bit of glue and put it on that knot underneath. Make sure that your bow and your ribbon are where you want. I put it right in the middle. And then I'm just going to hold this for a while while it dries. All right, now we're going to get some dimensionals. And I'm going to put them on the back of Frankenstein. You don't have to use as many as I do. I have a thing about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. And then I'm just going to put his chin and the top of his head. I'm just going to center it on this piece of the label. Alrighty. And for the final touch, I'm using some speckled dots in the mossy meadow, which is kind of blends with the granny apple green in this because there's lighter speckles in there. I'm going to use the small ones. I'm going to put one in the middle of his hair <laughs> and one on each side. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, my email is below, along with the link to my blog that has all of the measurements and directions and the link to my shop. All righty. Have a great day, and I will see you on Friday. Bye.